So this is just going to be, because I use these appliances more than I make videos per se. So I think I'm just going to start like a series of just everyday, like everyday ninja, just what I do when I use it on a daily basis. Like I'm just going to say I'm making some bacon and eggs today and the temp turn it down to 375 and I'm just going to hit start. Oh, shut lid. Whoopsies. See? And you get all the reality of the situation. So I'm preheating right now. I'm just going to throw a few pieces of bacon on. I might make a few extra pieces because I might be doing something later on. Um, but right now, this is just, just how I use this appliance most every day. And let's be honest, I'm going to over override this. Yeah. I know myself. I'm not going to let it preheat because I'm not going to wait in the morning. And this is just the reality. This is like a super, super skinny bacon. So that's not like the other thick stuff that I usually have. And like I said, I am going to make a few extra pieces. I'm not sure. I might do something. I might do a video later. I'm not sure. Well, I'm doing a video now, but I just plan ahead sometimes because I'm sure everybody knows how to make bacon in their Ninja Foodie or Ninja Foodie grill. Boom. And then usually I actually take my pinky put it down and then I just go wash my hands. Now that we got a little, I should have said that, but now that we got a little bit of bacon fat in here, and I have noticed there's hot spots and cool spots with this. I'm gonna take a Trader Joe's hash brown and just put it right in there. Cause I think the fat from the bacon will be sufficient cause I can actually just push this out of the way. And just to pick up some of that grease, take it, flip it, it'll be fine. There we go. Let's pop the top, and we're just going to flip this bacon. And this is what I do to experiment, and then also just make uh, breakfast. You know what I mean? A lot of times I don't, well, a lot of times I don't eat this for breakfast. But if I'm just playing with the Ninja Foodie, I will, and I'm going to be able to have to use a spatula to flip that now. There we go. Straighten out the bacon. And then after this, what I'm going to actually do is just experiment, because um, I had a bag of asparagus, close this, I had a bag of asparagus that needed to be cooked up, and I don't have a recipe to serve it with, although I am making fish later, I could use this asparagus for my fish tacos. Hey, the way I see when it comes to tacos, the more veg, the better. <laughs> Makes it a bit healthier, and yeah, somebody's definitely going to be doing some fish tacos later. And if I do have some extra asparagus, I might put it on there. Hey, you never know. All right. Oh, uh, and this is what happens. Everyday things. This is a little bit overdone for me, but well, that's what I get for playing on the computer. Now I'm just currently looking for a job and it's been painful, shall we say. And yeah, this is way too much grease for this. But always be careful when you flip these because... Um, yeah, it'll splatter. All right, let's grab that egg. Just gonna put that right in there with the bacon fat. I like black pepper. Now you can actually cook with it open or closed. I tend to close it. There we go. But I still flip it as well. But you can actually take the temp, which I'm doing here. We're going to up it to 400. Usually, like, yeah, I, I tend to cook it, like, super high. All right. I knew it was going to fly all over the place. And then I'm going to take that and just stand back because it will splatter. Just an FYI. So, I'm going to see if this potato is done. And it looks pretty much done. This, like this, this is I'm experimenting because I'm cooking this on the griddle. I usually don't do that. Yeah, it's done. All right, so I'm gonna pull the potato, put that over to the side. I've got toast in the toaster. I tend never to cook toast like in the foodie or the air fryer. It just dries it out. That's what I. That's what I think. But personal preference. So I do have. A little bit of asparagus. I'm not going to add any oil. I'm just going to add some salt and pepper. Now we're going to see if we can actually kind of 
kind of griddle these up. All right. Um, all right. I'm just going to put this right on there and see what happens. I'm getting some butter there, too. That's quite a bit of asparagus. I'm going to turn it down. Tamp down to 275. This is cool. I'm going to close it because we have a bit of splattering. Let me just take the grease and... Awesome. This is, this is awesome. Just been cooking for like a minute or two. I just wanted to check on it. Yeah, this is actually working out beautifully. It smells really good. So I'm trying not to overcook these. It looks really, really good. And this is how I experiment, everybody. So now I know you can just leave the griddle plate in there and my toast is done. And um, yeah, it's, this, is, this is what I do to experiment. And while I'm doing this, I actually do try to keep track of the times Although, a lot of times I fail. Like today. I'm going to pull one and taste test it. Alright. Mmm. That is so good. I'm going to let it cook for like one more minute. It's al dente right now. I just want a little bit more done. And that asparagus is going to be perfect. Well, for me. It's al dente, it's not mush. Because another idea I might use for this, I might, because um, I've been craving a frittata. So I'm thinking of frittata. I'm going to see if I can make a frittata in this grill. I don't think I've done that yet. i got to get some peppers and stuff. So he's like, you don't want the asparagus too, too done, so to speak. But this, look at this. Perfect. Contains it, and I don't have to clean the grill part. Like I said in my live stream the other day. I've noticed, like when you first get these appliances, especially the grill parts, it's awesome. Non-stick, super easy to clean. Now it's just become where I just want to use the griddle part all the time. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but that's where I'm at right now with this grill. Because I, I use it a lot. You guys don't see it, but I've used this, I use this grill a real lot. So what I do, I just shut it off and I know I'm just going to cook it just for like a minute and it'll be done. Like this part right here, that might not be done. This one right there, because it's thicker. But then you have these, like these little tiny ones, and they're done. And it will continue to cook even after I take it off the griddle. But this is awesome. See, now what I should do, I should actually saute. I don't have any peppers. I got onions, but I want a little bit of pepper in here, and I don't have any in the house. Oh, look at that. Amazing! Gonna take this spatula and just gonna take it, put it right back in this pan. And I'll probably have some with my breakfast this morning. Nothing wrong with asparagus for breakfast. And that's it. And that's what I do, like for an everyday, everyday cook, girl. Yeah. Boom done.